What's up guys? Welcome to What's in the Shop Wednesday. Today, we've got some special guests here. We've got some friends from Sun Protectors Window Tinting in Chambersburg. Um, they're good friends of ours. They're here. We're just tossing some business ideas around and having a good time. So, James and Brian, thank you very much for stopping in. We'll start over here. We've got a BMW M4 in this car. Sees lots of rallies. And right now, Max is taking the wheels off to ceramic coat those. We installed paint protection film on the whole front end and the rocker panels of this car. We also did DynoFlex windshield protection film. So that's a film designed to be optically clear but still block impacts from cracking and chipping the windshield. I say it every Wednesday, there's always a Corvette here and that's no exception today. We've got a C8 on the lift. This one's getting paint protection on the whole front and the rocker panels. And right over here to my left, we've got an Acura A-Spec SUV. This one got window tin installed. It's next in line for a fusion coating. Aaron's over here working on a blue Dodge Ram. And this one's got the full painted front end, so all of the grill components. Uh, we're protecting everything up front. So the bumper, the bumperettes under the headlights, and the grill. And this one got a partial front end. So people ask us a lot, what does that line look like? And you can see, or maybe you can't see, that's sort of the point. Yeah, it's pretty invisible, especially if you're looking at it from this angle. From that angle, it might be a little bit more obvious. But it's going to protect the high impact areas and save this customer a little bit of money over going with the full front end. And over here, Caleb is working on polishing a BMW to perfection. You can see the reflection of the lights is looking really, really good. No micro scratching, swirl marks. That's what a paint correction does. And then we're ceramic coating it with Expel Fusion after that. He just finished up a Corvette Z06. Still here, right? Still here outside. So uh, you'll check that one out. It looks really, really good. And Jimmy is working on a Wagoneer or a Grand Wagoneer. Which is it? Just a Wagoneer. I'm not sure what the difference is at this point. But I don't think I've seen this color yet. It's got all painted black trim. It looks really, really good. Wheels are done on this, and now it's getting coated on the rest of the car. They also tinted the windows. In the tin bay, we've got Terrell and Kevin working on a Toyota. And James actually guest shrunk this back window for us. So James from Sun Protectors, happy to have him here. And outside, we have lots of stuff happening. A full lot today, a BMW X5. This one's here for window tint coming up. I believe this is just the customer stopped in right now, so I don't think that's on our schedule. And here we have an Acura, another A-Spec SUV. This one's getting the full front protected with paint protection film and a ceramic coating. And these are our friends from Chambersburg. We've got two F-150s here. This one got window tint. I'm pretty sure that one's the one getting ceramic coated. There's tons of coatings on for this week. So there's Kevin's car. You guys comment on it, let him know it's slow. He'll appreciate that. Chevy Traverse, new one. This thing is nice looking. It got window tint. I believe it is ready to go home right now. And then this is a pretty big project. Mike brought this to us. Uh, Mike owns House of Handsome. It's a barbershop in Pittsburgh. It's this 1920s themed, super, super cool barbershop. He was showing me pictures yesterday. We're doing a full wrap and paint protection film on this. Uh, we had to remove some stripes from the factory to do that. And then we're gonna be reinstalling those stripes on top of the film. Then we're ceramic coating the car. We've already tinted the windows, we've tinted the marker lights, and we've tinted the tail lights. We debadged the whole car, including the badges on the grill that said Challenger and uh, the other badge as well. So this one's getting a ton of stuff. It's gonna look really awesome when it's done, so I'm pretty excited for that one. And last but not least, we have a Corvette Z06. This is a C5 Z06, one of the cleanest examples I have ever seen, and I think this is like a commemorative edition or something along those lines. 5,000 original miles on this thing. Full front end paint protection film, I believe the rocker panels as well. Then we polished the whole car and ceramic coated it, and I'm telling you, this thing looks better than a new car. The guys totally knocked it out of the park. So if you're a Corvette guy, Justin from Horsepower Obsessed, uh, you're going to want to get a good look at this car. It's beautiful. So that's what's happening here at La Trobe. I'm going to hop down over to Gibsonia. I'm sure they've already recorded what's happening there, and hopefully Patrick from Miami will check in. What's up, guys? It is Wednesday, so let's check out what's going on here at the Gibsonia shop. Here we have a completed vehicle. This is a 2022 Tesla Model X Plaid. This got a full body paint protection film wrap on all of the painted body panels, along with the black accent trim pieces. And then it was topped off with a full ceramic coating through Expel Fusion Plus. We coated all the paint protection film, the wheels, and the glass. Here we have another Plaid. This one is a Model S Plaid. This got a full body paint protection film wrap and a Fusion Plus ceramic coating back at the Latrib location about a year and a half ago. It's back in for a maintenance detail and a cleanup. In the wash bay, we have a 2021 GLS 63 AMG. This also got a full body PPF wrap and Fusion Plus ceramic coating at the Latrobe shop last year. And this too is in for a maintenance detail, annual checkup, 
and he also brought in his extra set of wheels. We got two wheels here and two wheels currently being cleaned over here on that side of the shop. These are going to get a deep cleaning on the entire face of the wheel, back of the spokes, barrel, and we'll be coating that in our Wheel and Caliber Fusion Plus ceramic coating. Next up for a full paint correction and ceramic coating is this new Sierra Denali. This got PPF on the full front clip yesterday. The entire front bumper, the bumperette pieces here, which are underneath the headlights, the front fenders in the hood are all protected and Expel Ultimate Plus paint protection film. And we'll be prepping this at some point in the afternoon today and beginning the correction and coating process and should be all done by the end of this week. Up on the lift is this 2022 Tesla Model Y. This is in for a full body stealth paint protection foam wrap. So right now the Model Y is gloss white and will soon be satin white. Um, it's also gonna be getting the two front doors and 20% XR Prime to match the factory tinted back windows. That's all for what's going on here in Gibsonia. We'll see you guys back here next week. What's going on everybody? It's Wednesday, so let's see what we have going on in the shop this week. All right, so back here in the work bay, we have Alfredo over here working on our new um, Expel display. And then over here, you might remember this from last week. It might have been in the What's in the Shop last week, don't remember. Um, but this is a 2019 um, Corvette C7 Grand Sport. And this one is in for a full paint correction, as well as a Expel Fusion Plus ceramic coating. And we tinted the windshield as well with the XR Plus 70%. So this car is coming out really, really good. All that we have left is to polish the rear bumper and the rear diffuser, and then prep it and get it ready for coating. So as I mentioned, this is getting the Expel Fusion Plus ceramic coating over the entire vehicle. So we are gonna coat all of the painted areas, the plastic, the glass, and then we already did the wheels. Uh, we pulled the wheels off the vehicle to do the face barrel, the back of the spokes, as well as the calipers. So they definitely cleaned up and look so much better than what the vehicle looked like when it came in initially. And that's all that we have going on today um, at our store here in Miami. All right, guys, so it looks like Patrick was having a little bit of uh, technical difficulties there. So we're going to go ahead and finish up the video right here in Latro, Pennsylvania. If you guys like what you saw, please smash that thumbs up button. If you have any questions about any of the content, leave them in the comment section down below. And as always, we're always looking for constructive criticism. So if there's something you want to see, let us know down there. Be sure to tune in next week, next Wednesday, where we have what's in the shops every Wednesday for you guys. You're definitely going to want to see what's coming next week. I'm losing my mind.